Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Chris. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Chris and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today we will talk about our bulwark and our fortress and our hedge of protection. We will talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Look at this image brothers and sisters and see how the Lord has raised up a hedge of protection a bulwark around us. His sheep knows his voice, they know his voice. His sheep are walking with him wherever he goes. Are you a sheep of the Lord? And if you abide very close in him and embrace him as close as possible, then brothers and sisters, then you will also walk in his footsteps. You will walk together in the way that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ walked. You will take your cross, you will walk into your neighborhoods, you will attend to the needy, the nameless and faceless, you will lift up the people who suffer in the same way as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did. Now is our time to walk as our Lord and Savior. Now it's our time to walk as our protector. Now it's our time to walk as our good shepherd. We know his voice. We know what he has done. And now it's our time to follow him exactly in the same manner. The end times apostles are being called forth right now. The dead in Christ will rise. The saints of the old will come forth and they will help us to fulfill our destiny in the former and the latter reign with their help together because they know how it is to walk in true discipleship and to walk as apostles of the Lord. Now our time has come to be the end time apostles of the Lord, to go forth and to bring in the harvest of the ages, to be also good shepherds and to look for the lost sheep that have gone astray into the world in Babylon and that are still in the sheep pens of the lukewarm churches. Let us bring them all out and let them all return to the Father in heaven, to the kingdom of heaven. Turn, turn your hearts back to the Father. Turn your hearts back to God Almighty and to his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And be filled with the Holy Spirit to get an understanding of the heavenly principles and be a representative of heaven here on earth. A true sheep, because a true sheep will know the voice of the shepherd. And you will know the voice of the Lord. And you will know what to do and where to go. And he will guide you always to green pastures and will put your head next to quiet water. And no matter where you walk, even in the valley of the shadow of death, you will be protected. And the Lord will raise a table in front of your enemies. And you will walk in his goodness and mercy and love for the rest of your life. Brothers and sisters, let us come forward now. Let us be the end time movement of the Lord. Walking as Jesus did, talking as Jesus did and acting as Jesus did. He is not our, only our hedge of protection, but he is our bulwark and our fortress. He is the one that we will abide so closely that we will walk in his footsteps on the exact ministry as he has done. To bring forth a great harvest, the harvest of the ages, to bring forth the multitude clothed in white that will then stand at the base of Mount Zion where they will be raptured into paradise. Brothers and sisters, let us come forth in his mighty power and the power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He suffered for us. Now it's time to take our cross and follow him. Now it's our time to stand out. Now it's our time to let our light shine as never before. Do not remain settled. Let's come out. Let's come out of the world, out of Babylon and out of the lukewarm churches and enter the heavenly concept for such a time as this, for these end times. Let us now establish the holy places, the holy sanctuary for the heavenly kingdom, 
the embassies of heaven, where you as a representative of heaven, as a true son and daughter of the Most High, as an ambassador of heaven, will introduce the people to the principles of heaven, to love, mercy and compassion. And you will call them and say, you are also true sons and daughters of the kingdom of heaven. Come and join. Return to your first love. I will call to all prodigal sons and daughters that are still living in the world, in sins, and they're still living in Babylon under the oppression of Jezebel. And I will call to all prodigal sons and daughters that are still listening to act out the stage in the lukewarm churches, to your fake pastors and prophets and whatever want to draw you back into the world. I will call to you, come out of there, come out of them and return to the kingdom of heaven. Focus 100% on the kingdom of heaven and bring in the harvest of the ages. Bring as many people out as you can. Bring as many people to righteousness as possible. Win souls every day. Go into your neighborhoods in a unit together with all the people that will come to your holy places, to your holy sanctuaries that you will establish in your neighborhood. Now let us come and be part of the kingdom of heaven. Let us now be the true sons and daughters that the world is groaning for right now. Now is the time to step out as an ensign and banner of the Lord, to stand against the flood, to be a powerful warrior in the army of the Lord. The Lord God Almighty is separating the goat and the sheep right now. Don't remain in the world, don't be left behind, but be elevated to the next level. Have access to his holy place, walk in the presence and in the shadow of the Almighty every day, on holy ground, where you will remove your shoes and sandals. And there you will experience the family community of heaven, walking together with all the true believers that have come with you and joined you, plus the saints that are now being risen from the dead, it will now come forth out of the graves to help you so that you can walk in the former reign, which are the apostles of old, the first disciples of Jesus, and in the latter reign, the end time apostles, so that you can walk in the former and the latter reign together with the help of the saints who will attend to you and also with the angelic hosts that the Lord is sending right now so that they will protect you your safe havens, your holy places, your holy sanctuaries that you will establish. Now is the time to step out for the Lord as never before. Now is the time to come forth. Now is the time to join, to join the army of the Lord. Now is the time to come and join hands, to come together in love, unity and support for the kingdom of heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ is our bulwark our fortress, our hedge of protection, and he's our good shepherd. But now he says, feed my sheep. And when he tells you, feed my sheep, you will also become a good shepherd and you will walk in his footsteps. You will take over from him now, as the first apostles did, but now in much greater power because there is a worldwide harvest right now. The fields are white for harvest. Become the good shepherd, become the end time apostle. Get, full, get braced on with the Holy Spirit right now and then be filled at Pentecost with the Holy Spirit that will come down from heaven so that you can fulfill your purpose and destiny here. That you can establish the embassy of heaven in your neighborhood. Train and teach your people. Then go out every day for the daily sacrifice of love into the neighborhoods and by showing forth examples that everybody can understand no matter of their language because they will see your examples and they will understand so so your examples you will speak a universal language that will be understood all over the world no matter if you speak their language or not they will see your examples they will see your love your mercy and compassion the principles of heaven that you will bring forth and they will see your light and they will be drawn to your light and they will join you and you will come together in love, unity and support on the new altar with the helmet of salvation 
what is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, walking in his footsteps with the sword of the Spirit, which are the heavenly principles and the scriptures that we have, so that we can slay the dragon, that we can stand against Satan, that we can stand against the flood of the enemy and against the flood of the darkness. Brothers and sisters, let us come together, join, join Triple Grace, walk with me together that pass. And when we have fulfilled our harvest work in the spirit of Elijah, because Elijah was the one who was standing on Mount Carmel and calling to the people, return to the Lord, return to the Lord, return to the Lord. Come out of the world that was at his time Ahab and come out from Babylon what at his time was Jezebel. So in the spirit of Elijah we will come out of the world and we will then make a decision to stand for the heavenly kingdom and God will send fire down onto the earth, the Holy Spirit to fill us because we will be his end time workers in the spirit of Elijah. And then when we have fulfilled our harvest work and our destiny and our ministries, then the Lord will take us in the spirit of Moses out of this world physically and move us into the desert, into a safe place where he will take care of us for three and a half years in the worst time with the enemy, the Antichrist is in full power, then we will be protected and taken to a place. And at the end of this, after the seven years, the Lord will send his angels to take us from these safe havens. There will not only be one, but there will be safe havens. Then the angels will come and take us and bring us to the base of Mount Zion and there we will be raptured into paradise and we will stand before God at his throne. And he will tell us, well done, my true sons and daughters, well done. And we will receive our rewards, the crown for our harvest work that we have done, because we have brought so many souls back to the Father. So you cannot miss the end time appointment. Don't miss it. Don't remain in the world and think everything will go back to normal. It will not. Now it's a time when we have to shine as never before. But that means that we have to join together in unity and in love and in support. We have to have everything in one accord and all in common. We have to share our resources and support one another. And only when we can do this as a family community of the kingdom of heaven in our holy places that we will establish, only then we can go out into the neighborhoods as a unit, as a family, and can bring in the prodigal sons and daughters from all the places where they are suffering right now. And they will return to their first love. They will return to the Father. And at the end, we will have restored everything back to paradise. Because when we will be raptured, we will be raptured into paradise. And there we will walk in the presence of God forever and ever. It's a restoration of all things, brothers and sisters. First step is to restore back the true discipleship, true apostleship, and the true assemblies of the Book of Acts, the holy places, the embassies of heaven, where the great harvest work will be done, where the great revival will take place. And then in the second step, under the spirit of Moses, the great exodus, going to the mountain, reaching the mountain at the end, and there we will be raptured into paradise, and the restoration of all things is complete, complete. And we will be in paradise with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Father, God Almighty, forever and ever. Oh, brothers and sisters, let us start now. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out in the spirit of Elijah and in the spirit of Moses and in the spirit of David because the fallen tents of David has to be restored again as is written in Amos 9. So let us bring forth the fallen tents of David, the holy places. Let us join together as a family of the kingdom of heaven. I hope this encourages you now to subscribe, to click the bell icon, to be part of Triple Grace, to join our websites, to support the ministry, to sow into the words, to help us to advance. Because it's not only that the Lord is saying, Michael, you should be a good shepherd. No, it is for you all, brothers and sisters, you should be a good shepherd. And the good shepherds have to come together. 
because only if we come together we can fulfill the harvest. So let us join together now in love, unity and support. Please, brothers and sisters, come forth, support Triple Grace. So into the words, into the ministry. We have pa Patreon and PayPal. You can help to bring Triple Grace forward so that we can spread the messages to all the people, that more people will come. Let us grow together as a family community of heaven. Please open up your heart. Send us your kind donations so that we have more abilities to, to make more videos and to continue in the ministry. Be a kingdom financier. Become a supporter of the heavenly kingdom in that way. You are not all broke as it seems. You are not all broken. There are people outside there who have plenty over plenty. Why are you not investing in the kingdom of heaven? Why are you not supporting us? Why are you not supporting ministries that are 100% kingdom focused? Instead, you waste your money for this and that, for sports activities, for whatever. A small part would help all the ministries that are end time focused, including Triple Grace. So now it's the time to bring forth your donations, your help, your support, sowing into the ministry. And by sowing into the ministry, you also activate your faith. It's not that you buy something. It's not that you, because you sow something, you can receive more blessings. No, but you are showing forth that you have true faith. You are showing forth, yes, this is a message for me. And I am becoming a good shepherd. And a good shepherd has to bring in his resources. A good shepherd has to feed the sheep. A good shepherd has to support his surrounding. Otherwise, he is not a good shepherd. So sow in your face. Sow into your face. Sow in the words. Sow into the messages. Be part of it. You will not buy anything, but you support the right course. You support the end time movement of the Lord. You support the heavenly concept of God himself. With this funds, more places can be established. With this funds, more people can be reached. So is that not a perfect course for the heavenly kingdom? What are you waiting for, brothers and sisters? If you cannot establish your place right now, but then you can support the establishing of these places. So sow into the ministry, sow into the world, come forth, activate your face. This is your time, a time of shaking. In a time of shaking, you must support the causes. A good shepherd will feed his sheep. So come forth, feed your sheep, feed the sheep around the world that who all belong to the Father. Brothers and sisters, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So let us come. I'm praying that all of you will open your kind heart. I pray that all your funds will come and your donations will come to help Triple Grace to spread the messages and to bring forth the holy places in many places where there is a drought, where there is a drought of the world, where there is a drought of finances, where there is a drought of, of resources. You people who have resources will give a little bit from them to help so that such places will also receive the living water. I pray in Jesus' name that your heart will be opened today, that your heart will be opened today in your holy, holy name, Jesus, I pray. In your holy, holy name, God the Father, I pray. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you will open your heart and that you will come forth with your kind donation. The links are in the comments. Father, open their heart, their soul and their mind that they will understand that the end time movement needs also their resources. So let them come forward in power and glory and let them share as the people have done in the book of Acts. They can read it there, Father. They can see that it's true that you have animated at that time also the people to share their resources for the cause, to win the souls and to spread the messages and the movement at that time. And now in the end time movement of the Lord, it is even more important because we have to reach much more territory. 
So we need much more resources. Thank you, Father. Open up their minds. Send out your Holy Spirit to the people so that they will be guided to triple grace, that they will be guided to help, that they will be guided to sow into the messages. Please, Father, open up the way. In Jesus' holy name I pray. And I plead the blood of Jesus over the donations that will come in. Bless the people, not because they make donations, but because they have returned to you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Maranatha. Thank you, brothers and sisters, that you listen, listen to this message. Now it's your time to come for us. Now it's your time to support. Now it's the time to receive the hedge of protection. Pray over it. Get an understanding. Support Triple Grace as the Lord will guide and lead you. And the Holy Spirit will lead you. We have PayPal and Patreon. Join us now. Bring resources in that we can build the heavenly concept, that we can bring it forth, that we can establish the holy places, and that the end time movement of the Lord. I'm not saying we are the only one, but we are one. One of the end time movements that we will bring in the souls and the harvest of the ages. That we can call out the prodigal sons out of the world, that they can return to their first love, to God the Father in heaven. And he will prepare a banquet for them, because he will be happy for each and every one of them who will return. Our work is now to be a good shepherd, with all of our resources. So come for us. Thank you for all your kind donations. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your prayers. And thank you for all your comments and messages that you sent me to triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Thank you that you be that you are a member at Patreon for Triple Grace. Thank you that you use our PayPal channel to support the ministry. Thank you for all the people who are sending their love. Thank you that you are part of the heavenly concept of the Lord. Be blessed. Maranatha.